in this parable, God is being compared to a poor woman who needs that humble drachma in order to survive. It's not ornamental. It's not surplus. It's not loose change. He compares himself to a woman who's lost something that is absolutely essential to her life. I want you to think about that. Because of God's love, this is what it meant to me this week, because God is love, He cannot live without us. Therefore, He died so that we could live with Him. Do you understand the implications? God could not live without us. God owns everything. The silver and the gold is His. But even when one of the least of His children goes missing, the parable teaches that He searches diligently until He finds it. That means that you and I are nobody's chump change. God won't let you go just because he's rich and loaded with other children. You realize how many children God has? To own it all? The entire cosmos, the entire universe, all the angels, all the unfallen worlds. He owns it all. And yet, He puts his happiness on hold until you and I are reunited with him. It means everything to him. And I want you to notice too, in this parable, three actions are taken. Lighting, sweeping, and searching. Lighting. And we are reminded... Of Psalms 119, 105, your word is a lamp for my feet and a light to my path. Now when you're lost and hoping for rescue, the one thing that you're looking for, the one thing that you hope to see are beams of light searching for you. The beams of light means Someone has missed you, number one, and someone is on the search. The fact that we have the Word of God, the fact that we have it in our possession, means that God is looking for us. God is searching, and in the light of its pages, we can find the way home. Sweeping. Through the use of a broom, probably just a palm froom kind of broom, she sweeps and cleans away the rubbish and stirs up the dust. You can imagine, it's a dirt floor. And there's, a, there's an agitation of, of dust and debris, of circumstances in our lives. Everything is unsettled while she's on the hunt. And just as that woman stirred up a cloud of dust in her home, you may also experience a kind of disturbance in your life too due to the Spirit's sweeping work. Family conflict, homework overload, social pressures, inward restlessness, and future anxieties are just a few things that make you feel that in your life, dust is flying everywhere. The stuff is literally hitting the fan. But when the dust of your life is flying, proceed with caution. God is at work. The Holy Spirit is doing His work of sweeping, clearing away the debris and the rubbish, trying to clear away a path so that you can be found. And then there's the searching. Notice, Jesus says that she searches carefully until she finds it. There's no quitting here. This is not a casual search. She searches carefully or diligently. Not one stone literally is left unturned in her house until she finds it. She doesn't give up. She searches until 
their success until she finds it. She doesn't quit and neither does God. We may quit on Him. But He never quits on us. You're nobody's chump change and He searches for you with great care and persistence like a poor woman in search of her food money. And let me ask you this question. Which of these activities, the lighting, the sweeping, the searching, did the coin engage in? None. Why? Because a coin is an inanimate object. It cannot respond to the light or hear the calls of the one who seeks. It's not alive. It's like those whom the Bible describes as being dead in trespasses and sins. As far as the things of God are concerned, it is inanimate. It is unable to do anything. A corpse can't hear. But the deadness of the coin, I want you to understand this morning, does not deter the woman from searching for it. (laughs) Did you get that? Though this coin is inanimate, It cannot speak. It cannot move. It is dead. It is not alive. It does not. The deadness of the coin does not deter the woman from searching for it. Why? Because that silver coin, inanimate though it may be, has value. It has worth. And even when we are dead in our trespasses and sins, we are infinitely valuable to God and He will sweep and send out searchlights in order to find us.